In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create an activity with video in Seesaw. Using video allows the teacher to create more meaningful and effective content, further engaging the pupil. Although there are several ways to use video on Seesaw, I am going to use the screen recording tool to prepare a presentation for my pupils. To create an activity on Seesaw, we navigate to our activity library and click create new activity. I have pre-filled in the criteria for this activity. It's based on the story of number eight. The pupils have to watch the mini lesson, click on add response, click on their pages and fill them in and complete their work. I've also added audio instructions because this activity is aimed at a junior end of a primary school. There are two sections that I will need to fill out. The first one being the multimedia section. This is where the teacher will deliver the content. And then I will also demonstrate creating a template for student responses. To add the multimedia instructions, I click here. First, I will attach a PowerPoint sourced from Twinkle. I've saved it as a PDF on my device to allow me to upload it to Seesaw. Once I upload my PDF, it comes into the drawing tool. Here I can delete any slides that are not necessary. It is important to note here at this stage that Seesaw Plus will allow you upload a PowerPoint or a PDF of up to 20 pages. Next, I will add recordings to my slides one by one. This allows me to explain the content of each slide to the pupils. Seesaw allows users five minutes per slide. However, it is best keep this below three or even two minutes to prevent pupils from losing interest. To record your audio and start creating your video lesson, you hit the record microphone button here. You will get a countdown Today, pupils, we are going to learn all about the number eight. We pause our recording. You can see here that I just used six seconds of the five minutes on this slide. I click done and I repeat the process for the next 10 slides. I have now added video and audio over all of my slides. Some slides are more interactive than others. Let's count how many fingers are being shown. One, two, three, four. The next step is to add a video example of the template that the students will have to complete as a task. Here is the template that I have already created on Seesaw. I created this using the drawing tool on Seesaw by adding text, shapes and editing the color of the background. It is important to add eight blue counters and eight yellow counters so that the pupil does not run out of counters. I will now record myself completing the activity so pupils will know what to do. Today pupils, you are going to have to make eight. Can you think of different ways to make eight and use the counters to help you? When you have dragged all the counters into place, write your number sentence below. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to use one, two, three yellow counters. Get your marker. For the blue counters, we will use the blue color. And we have five blue counters. And we have three yellow counters. So use your yellow marker to put in the number three. Five plus three make eight. I have now provided the students with a video example of the task. As you can see here, I've attached the audio, the PowerPoint and the video recording of the presentation to the activity. To allow the students to demonstrate what they have learned about the story of number eight, I need to create tasks to, for them to complete. 
Here I attach a worksheet on number formation that I have saved in PDF form again. Again, this PDF is brought into the drawing tool, which enables me to add further pages for the students to complete. The next page I'm going to add is going to be asking the pupils to draw eight circles on the page. Finally, I will add another page and recreate the template of the making of number eight that I demonstrated earlier. I took a screenshot of it earlier, so I'm just going to upload it to image. And this allows me to stretch it out and also re-add the eight counters. As you can see here that this was a screenshot, these counters are not interactive, so I will have to add another eight counters. If you don't have the ability to screenshot and take an image of your screen, you can obviously build this activity from scratch again. Once you are happy with the activity that pupils can interact with, I am going to duplicate it as many times as I like so that pupils can continue making eight in various ways. For this activity, I want them to demonstrate making eight five different ways. Once I have the template complete, I click the green tick save my activity and assign it to my class. We will now take a look at this from a student's view. In the student view, this is how the activity appears. The pupil can view the instructions and also play the audio instructions. To view the video presentation, the pupils click on the example here. Hello boys and girls, today we are going to learn about the number eight. Navigates through all of the slides. This is the teacher scaffolding and supporting the pupil by delivering content outside of the classroom. Once the pupil understands the concept and the story of number eight, they can add a response over the template provided and submit a response to the teacher. If you would like to view this activity in Seesaw, it is available at the link below and in the video description. In conclusion, teachers can create activities like this in Seesaw to allow for the pre-teaching of a concept as a support for pupils completing homework at home or capturing the pupils understanding in consolidation of a topic.